What's going on everyone and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. This is going to be Spin the Wheel Episode 2. And for the zero of you that are probably wondering what was taking so long between the last Spin the Wheel video and this new one, well to make a very long story short because I don't feel like talking about this for 10 minutes, got a new phone, had to wait for Stick War Legacy Progress to sync from the old phone to the new one, Took an entire month for Stick World Legacy Progress to sync from the old phone to the new one. Finally saw it was synced over after checking about a week ago. I wasn't, I don't know what was going on with Google Play, but it was not updating. It, it just took a very long time, which is super frustrating, but it finally synced over. So I can play the game and not worry about having to grind for all of these skin unlocks and the gems and chests that I currently possess because that would have been very frustrating. But now that the progress is finally back, we can kick it going with the series. Now, unfortunately, I had to recreate every single wheel from the old phone onto the new one because there was no way for me to like save these wheels so I can like sync them over to the new one. Nope, I had to recreate every single one. And yeah, so here we are. All the wheels have been recreated. There is a new one called Population Limit, which is a new thing I created in the additional rules wheel. We'll talk about it more if we happen to land on it. But for now, let's just start spinning these bad boys, starting like always with band units. Well, there you have it. All the rules are set. To recap, Magic Killer Band, Minor Avatar, Max Upgrades, Two Minute Time Delay, Two Minute Time Delay, Voltaic Skin, Blazing Sorbat Statue, and Healer Roll Only, which means I can only control one Merrick. That is my limitation on using control. Can't do any other unit. I can only use Merricks. Well, all right, let's get started. All right, well, no time like the present. Minor avatar. And also, I, I have to have all this, like, typed out in a notepad because there's just so many rules I have to remember. So let's take a quick look at what we got on the roster here. We have a potential of facing Emily next round after we beat Zane or Vlad or Iggy. And on the left side, we have Wesley, Hacker.exe, Guy... Okay, so we're facing hacker.exe in finals 
classic. Can't build units for two minutes. And the way I have the timer set up now is, uh, I have one on Google, and I'm gonna click on it to start because I have to edit a timer into the video and to make it as precise as possible, I'm going to click the start button with the mouse so I can hear it and then in editing I can like, you know, use editing magic to sync the timer up to the clicking of the mouse and you get it. But anyway, Magic Killer Bam, you have to remember that. So I'm thinking a basic sword rush should get the job done. And in the event we run into emergencies here, we're gonna max out giants, we're gonna max out castle archers, and we're gonna put two upgrades into statue size, just in case we run into some issues, because again, I can only control Merrick, and that's after not being able to build units for two whole minutes. All right, two minute going. Hold on, let me, let me talk right. Two minute time delay is now going. All right, this is gonna be a rough one because I would be surprised if Zane did not attack within two minutes. I would be very shocked. But, I mean, crazier things have happened, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. Also, there is an issue that I'm wondering if it's been fixed or not. But I'm not sure. The bug is, if you have Voltaic units on all your units, the enemy statue would get a Voltaic Sash, and as you approach the statue, you would start getting shot with lightning. However, there has been a little mini update. It did not release new content, which makes me think that it was for fixing bugs. And that's what I'm hoping happened. If they fix that glitch, then that means I don't have to worry about my unit taking Voltaic damage from having all the Voltaic skins equipped on my statue as opposed to being the enemy statue. But um, yeah, we have 40 seconds left in the time delay. I will go ahead and spawn the Merrick. And I do have access to five gold mines and one training haste while using the minor avatar, which we have to remember. The minor avatar, so based off the document I made, that is the perks we have access to. Which is good because I can train a bunch of swords, then use the training haze, get them all out instantly, and then we're good essentially. 10 seconds left in the timer. I think what I'm gonna do is probably spend all the gold on swords and mix in some miners here and there. There we go, timer is up, it is time to build. So we'll go four miners and then the rest swords. And if he happens to attack right now, then I will go for the training haste and get all the units trained. Now we have to be careful because we only have access to one training haste per game. So if I use it now, I cannot use it later. So I would rather not use the one training haste if I don't have to. Also. I just real. Do you, how do you like this trick? You summoned a pouncer dead. How is that a trick? So here we go. I'm actually gonna wait before I use the uh, training haste here. I want to see how we can handle this. All right, let's defend. And now we are definitely more than powerful enough. Also, what sucks about having Voltaic skins, but my limitation of user controlling being limited to Merricks? You freaking a-hole. But anyway, what sucks about this combination of rules that I have to follow is all of my Voltaic units are going to fully charge up and I nothing's going to discharge their voltage because I cannot select them. That's why I really think Voltaic Skin needs some sort of rework where these units will auto-discharge, but at a much weaker, uh, at a much weaker damage compared, compared to user control discharge, which, to be honest, that's already weak to begin with. The splash damage you get from, uh, discharging with the user control Voltaic unit is not strong. 
Anyway, I'm gonna back up here because this burn damage will eviscerate all my swords. Yeah, see, that's not good. Hopefully it fades. Gee, oh my god, it, I, it did not fade like I thought it would. Yeah, the blazing statue is gonna be very, very painful. I could burn the training haste here, but I'm not gonna do it since Zane is not attacking. However, we did get mileage on him. We forced out his reinforcements. So, that means that statue is not gonna have a lot of health remaining. He's gonna attack here, but I am very confident in this army, but he's probably gonna arch on rain here. Yep, I knew it. I, I knew it. You, you are such a douchebag, Zane. Like, I used to have respect for you, but now you're just getting on my nerves with your Archidon Rain spam. Like, you're an Archidon Rain reliant bot. Like, honestly. He goes for another Pouncer Dead. It's one single Pouncer Dead is gonna matter when I have all these swords. And, uh, yeah. It's gonna be rough taking on that Blazing Statue again, but I'm hoping the Sword Wrath can rush and take it down before they all die. And, I'm I mean, I can try using control on the Merrick here, but is one Merrick really going to make the difference? I don't know. I also can't get too close to it as the Merrick, otherwise I will start getting burned myself. And the Merrick will start healing herself as opposed to the swords. But there we go. We got the job done, despite more of my swords dying to that fire damage. And here we go. Game 2 is against Emily, who, fun fact, I'm actually playing against for the very first time. And the game mode is Barricades. So in a game mode like Barricades, the two minute time delay really does not matter that much. So we'll probably just run the same thing. Uh, Voltaic Sword Spam. And I, oh, I maxed out Miners completely. I wanted to put some statue upgrades on. Well, we're screwed if we happen to have to garrison here. We're gonna have to lay on that training haste again. And two minute time delay is going. Don't worry, this battle will only hurt a bit. I mean, it won't be painful for me, it'll be excruciatingly painful for you. Okay, so she uses the Merrick statue and has spawned a Merrick right off the bat. I really don't see the need to spawn mine, so I'm not gonna go for it right now. But yeah, like I said before, first time playing Emily, it will be interesting to see what she does here. And unfortunately, I, I can't even use the control miners to get golden faster. We are limited to just one Merrick. I must say, I feel bad for all of you. This idiot's videos all look so boring. Listening to him talk about practically nothing must suck. I don't understand how you guys like it. Does he not tell jokes or talk about anything else? I've had more entertainment capturing order miners and enslaving them relentlessly back when I was alive. Anyway, I'm out of here. <clears throat> Alright, we're back. Had to step away for a second, but we still have 50 seconds left in the time delay, so... And I knew nothing was going to happen since, you know, there's a big freaking barricade here, so we are all good. But anyway, I'm thinking since I upgraded giants that we go for a giant first thing. Or we can just do the classic sword spam. She's starting to get her army together here with the two archers, the spear ten, and the same Merrick from before, which honestly isn't that threatening. So I am actually thinking that I might say screw the giant and just say sword spam, go for the training haste right away, get the army out instantly, and you could probably just win off of that. She doesn't have a statue that is going to hurt my units at all. So honestly, I think that is going to be a good deal here. I recommend increasing the dose of what? I don't know, you're, you're just talking random crap. All right, time is over. We're going to put all of this into swords and just training haste it. And there you go, we just won the game. I highly doubt she beats this, unless she uses Archon on Rain as well. And even then I might just tank it, to be honest. But there's just no way she can defeat all of these swords we can get even more off the training haste right now but again it sucks all these swords are going to be charged up and i can't do anything to discharge them it's terrible i'm gonna stitch up my army she goes for a heal all spell that's surprising so it did kind of save her tanks a little bit 
Also, this is kind of bad. A lot of my swords have their backs facing the castle archers. Now she gets a golden spear tin. I'm actually still confident I can... Oh my god! The hell of Merrick spam from her right now. I have to commit though. If I back up, we're going to eat a lot of damage. Also, I did... Okay, yeah. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. Jeez. I was not expecting the heavy Merrick spam. Also, what I messed up on was I did not put a single bit of that gold into miners. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we're screwed here. Because there really isn't a whole lot we can do. I don't have a... Uh, I can't... I used my training case from before. And there you go. She's going to use to control the golden spirit and just... Yeah. That was a massive backfire. I should have put gold into miners. I don't know what I was thinking. What a fool. All right, Emily, you are not getting away with that twice. We have max statue crown, max statue size, and two upgrades on castle archers as well as maxed out swords. So, if she tries those moves again, then uh, she's going to be in for a very rude awakening. But anyway, while we wait for the two minute time delay to fade, I guess I can talk about something random. I absolutely hate cockroaches. They are one of the most disgusting scumbag creatures on this planet that serve absolutely no purpose. And I've had to live with them for <laughs> about four years at one point because it seemed no matter what place you move into, you're just always going to have bugs in it. And you can have the cleanest, most meticulous house on the planet and it, it's going to mean nothing. It's always going to be some sort of bug that you're gonna have to deal with whether it be cockroaches silverfish spiders centipedes uh snakes i don't know luckily i haven't had to deal with any of those it's just the, the cockroaches uh i don't know how i'd be able to handle centipedes being in my house especially house centipedes i don't know if you've seen those before but they are horrifying to look at they are they look absolutely disgusting like imagine being infested with those creatures I, at that point i would just burn the house down but cockroaches no they instill a, a furious rage inside of me and it just makes me want to attack rather than run away and i make sure of that every roach i see i will eviscerate if i could make cockroaches extinct i would absolutely do it they serve no purpose they are scumbags and they deserve nothing but the worst but anyway, time delay is going to expire here. Now we're going to build swords, and I'm not going to spend the training haste here. Because we're going to need it. Wait. Cancel all that. Cancel all of that. I almost did not learn my lesson from before. We are putting gold into miners. So we're going to queue six here. That'll give us a max economy, and then we're going to go into swords. Unfortunately, what that means is I might have to spend my training haste. Because now she's attacking. And that can be a bit of a bad thing. I'm, pre I'm prescribing some healing. As she summoned... Jeez! Four Merricks? My god! Good thing these aren't stick or three Merricks or they have projectiles seared. Otherwise, I would be quite literally screwed. Or even worse, Legacy Merricks have a Merrick convert. Can you imagine that? That would be horrible. Although... In the case of Stick World Legacy, it actually might not be that bad since there are many ways to kill Merricks. I can use Voltaic Sword Leap Attack. I have Voltaic Archer using control. I have my Eversword Liable Spear Throws. So I don't think Merrick Converted Legacy would be as bad as Stick War 3. But it, it still would be a problem. Alright, there she is. Uh oh. She's using Magi Kill. I, we actually might have to use the Training Haste here. But before we do, we're going to let our castle art just rack up some damage here. Although, hold on. These Merricks might outheal their DPS. Yeah, we might Yeah, we might have to burn it here. Because the Magi Kill... Yeah, we're going to have to burn it. The Magi Kill minions are getting in the way. And we need to get rid of them. We'll also queue our one Merrick for assisted healing. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to do this. Hopefully she does not go for her own heal all. Never mind. This is good. This is great actually. Yep. I 
definitely played smart getting that training haste going. Because, yeah, she was tapping in a Magi kill. And that's something we just don't want to deal with. Hopefully, she does not go for an Archidon rain here. She does not seem the type to do so. I think she is a healing uh, sort of uh, enthusiast here. My vitals are low. Time for emergency action. Uh, I mean, to get in here and heal. Although, I don't know if my one merit can really do anything. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, we're getting... Oh, my God. We're getting exterminated again here. And we're just dead. This Merrick is dead. See, what's different from Stick War Legacy compared to Stick War 3 is using Control Ignore does not exist. Meaning, I could not just save my Merrick from using Control again. So, this is looking bad. But, there's a difference. We have a maxed out statue. We have upgraded castle arches again. However, she's controlling that golden spirit, and that's actually a massive problem. And she's gonna use a heal all spell on it. Oh god, and she one shots my swords. I can't control any swords here. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. We got we got severe damage off on the golden spirit. Oh my god, she is not she's not stopping with the using control either. However, her back is facing the castle archers, meaning that's gonna be extra damage. And there we go, we killed the Golden Spirit, and that's actually exactly what we needed. However, we got even more Merrick Spam coming in here. She goes for another Golden Archer, now has three of them. And one of my Castle Archers are focusing on Merrick, something I really don't think they should be doing. Alright, we're definitely going to have to come back out. We got to come back out. We got some Spiritons with this Reinforcement Wave. And this Force of Sword Breath actually isn't that bad. We might be able to punch through this. I am hoping we do. There we go. She's going for the retreat. We're going to pick off these Merricks. And then we're going to chill. Because that was a lot more dangerous than I thought it would be. Although, I don't know. Part of me wants to go for it. But I feel like I should not underestimate those three Golden Archers. However, if we just sit here... That just means she gets more units. You know what? Maybe the Voltaic Spiritons can tank the arrows, but we gotta try it. If she goes for a Magi kill, then we are in serious trouble. We're gonna have to try and do this. Now she's gonna control the Golden Archer, and she does 110 headshot damage with it. However, the Sword Wrath is slowly but surely getting to those Golden Archers, and I think we are finally gonna overwhelm Emily here, which is great. That was a very dangerous game right there it could have it could have gone pretty bad but we were able to prevail which is a good thing oh hey i have a voltaic miner just stealing gold from her didn't even realize they had extra miners from there i should prioritize my health and take a break now All right, we're getting Vlad next for round three, and it is Gold Rush. And I am just now realizing the problem here. Can't build units for two minutes, and it's Gold Rush. Yeah, we're not winning this. All right, so what do we do here? We're definitely going to need Max Castle Archers. I'm already going to call it right now. We're going to need those. I mean, we could stick to the Voltaic Sword Strat. So far, it has worked out exceptionally well. But, I don't know. Because we have to try and get as much gold as we can here. We're going to max out statue upgrades. That leaves us with six upgrades. Guess we'll max out Giant and Pickaxe. Hopefully the Miners can get the Golden in time so they don't die. This is going to massively backfire. Alright, two minutes and counting down. I'm going to go for the Merrick. Since I cannot build units for two minutes, I'm going to have to try and stall and keep my Miners alive for as long as I can. As he's going to be running the Vamp Swords. Oh, and he's using controlling as well. Yep, we're gonna lose. I feel like we're gonna lose a lot of miners here, especially considering this slow freaking Merrick is just now taking, is just now getting out here, and he just summoned a dead. I'm hoping it wasn't a pouncer dead though. Man, the four 
Garrison. Yeah, we definitely mass Garrison here. Okay. He summoned another dead, and I think the first dead he summoned was the toxic dead. Yes, it was, and there's another one. We're just gonna stay in mass garrison to be honest. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush this or try to go back out. We're not gonna have the ability to. Okay, we have 40 seconds left. We're sitting at 2,000 gold, so I can queue one giant. And that's about it, really. I mean, I could spam swords, but I didn't upgrade them, so I don't know what to really go for here. We could try Archer Mask, but again, they're not upgraded. means their damage is going to be trash, and I see zero reason to go for Voltaic Spear 10, so... I don't know, it's gonna be a rough one for sure, but until the time delay ends, which it ends in seven seconds, we're just gonna sit here and wait. There it is, timer's over. So we're gonna train a giant, and I'm not gonna burn the training haste, obviously, we just don't need to right now. I think when the giant comes out, we can probably go for it, because for the most part, he actually is not sent very strong forces at me. It has literally just been swords and archers and the random couple of deads here and there. But other than that, he really is not really sent much of anything. So we might be able to, uh, we might be fine here. All right, let's go for it. Guess we'll spam a bunch of swords to accompany the giant here. Oh my god, he's gonna lightning storm me. Well, hold up, because my giant's already half HP, so it really shouldn't hurt it that much. But what it is gonna do it's distract the healing from my Merrick's on the um from my Merrick on his on the giant. You little piece of crap, Vlad. I was not expecting a stupid lightning storm. Yeah, we're Okay. Where is all this coming from? Now all of a sudden he's making spears. Bro, for the past like minute, he did nothing but sword archer spam. That was it. And the Merrick's dead. Yeah, how do you? How are we supposed to do this exactly? Well, we're gonna stay here and take advantage of our maxed out castle archers and statue here. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Now all of a sudden he's tapping into spiritons when he was not doing that for the past minute or two. That's ridiculous. But whatever, his damage to the statue is actually pretty trash, and it's holding out. Probably long enough for us to kill his Spiritons. Then once we clear out the Toxic Deads and the Archers, I think that's what we'll go for it again. Yeah, piss off with your stupid sword lead trying to hit my statue with it. Nice. All right, there we go. It's just the Spiritin now. We can definitely handle this. With my unupgraded voltaic swords, but we can't stay in the base like this. We have to, we have to aim to get gold here. Hopefully, he does not lightning storm again because we're just gonna have to run. And also, I can't really defend my miners until my swords get out there to defend them. Oh, and what timing that when he has a stupid toxic dead there to poison my freaking miners so we're gonna have to garrison them as they go for the run back i don't want to lose three miners right now
Another let loose? Okay, yeah. We're I'm not gonna sit here and keep trying. I should've just I should have just did both take sword mask like I did the past two games. I don't know why I thought I would accomplish something with giants. This horrible idea. Hold up, I forgot to start the timer. There, now it's going. And should I, you know what? Screw the, screw the Merrick. The Merrick wasn't even that helpful. We'll just take it. I'm gonna say I don't care. I'm just gonna tank it and uh, let, he's gonna kill some of my miners, but who cares? I'll just tank the damage because we're still gonna get some gold here. Oh, and something I didn't think about is this upgrade path that I chose actually makes a difference because now what it means is the miners were mining a lot slower, meaning they took a longer time to get the gold, meaning we lost more. And now we only have three cast archers instead of four. But whatever, with maxed out voltaic swords, I think we're going to do a lot more damage to this fool this time. I wonder if I boot a Merrick, if it'll give me the fourth castle archer. Nope, didn't give it to me. What a waste of a freaking spell usage. We still have 38 seconds left. 38 seconds of this annoying crap. Where, see right now, it is literally just sword archer from him. With his random deads. And the second I actually build my army and attack, he's gonna start booting spear tins. Like, you clever... SOB. But I would hardly call you clever. You're just spamming crap and throwing it at me. Whatever. 13 seconds left. There we go. We're done. Let's put all of this gold into swords. I'm actually not going to use the training haste because. There's no need to right now. The three cast lunches have been vibing perfectly, and so is the statue. So, no point in burning the training haste, and we're probably going to need it later. So, for now, I am totally content with just waiting. Also, I wonder if I spawn some gold mines, because I haven't done that yet. I really haven't had a need to use the five gold mines. But now might be a good time to do it, because we might get better gold mine placements. It could be better. You know what? Let's just spawn all five. I don't see why not. Oh, there we go. There's a good placement right there. Double. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So we're going to have four miners on those two gold mines by the statue. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. I was going to attack. I was going to re-attack once the toxic dads die. But he has two more. So I'm going to sit here and continue to wait. It's fine. Again, he is still just throwing swords and archers at me. It really hasn't been anything that threatening, so we will wait until the toxic deaths die. I don't feel like dealing with poison. Although I do have a Merrick. Yeah, I have a Merrick. Let's go back out. But now, these freaking Voltaic swords are upgraded, so we're going to be doing a lot more damage. There's a lightning storm. I'm going to run. I'm just going to run to mass heal everybody back up. That's fine. That's totally fine. You think you think you accomplished a lot with that lightning storm of lab? Well, I'm telling you right now that I can just garrison and heal again. So consider that crap countered, idiot. Still no spiritons from him either. Okay, we have healed. For the most part, we've healed from that lightning storm, so now we're once again gonna re-attack here. 
and now we should exterminate all this. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Soul Wrath Avatar, so I can't use Rage, otherwise I will be raging the hell out of all this right now. There are two more Toxic Deads, but I don't care. I'm just gonna have my swords attack and steamroll them. I did not mean to do that. I controlled a sword by accident. Whatever, I'll allow it. Hold on, there we go. Kill that Toxic Dead. Now we're gonna fall back. Because we do not want to uh, fall victim to Castle Archer damage. And we need to hurry up and get to the sword so we can cure them. Here we go. He has a blazing statue. That's gonna be painful, not gonna lie. And there's the spear ten. So he goes for them. It seems he goes for the spear tens once I start establishing an army. And we do not want to get too close to that blazing statue, so unfortunately we're gonna leave. Even though I want to kill that user control archer, just didn't want to risk it. So we're gonna do it now. We should be able to get to nope. He's gonna start kiting with it. You cheeky a-hole. Can you stop with that? You know what? My swords can actually just block off the damage. I'm going to take this time to heal them. Yeah, we actually had nothing to worry about there. Oh, he's got toxic deaths again. This is honestly fine. I am slow. He's going to do that crap again. And we're gonna have to mask Garrison again because trying to trying to heal all that with one Merrick is gonna take like 10 years. But guess what that means? We're gonna kill this archer finally. Yeah, get out of here, fool. That's what you get for being annoying with that. And now once we fully heal, we're gonna get mass damage again by that blazing statue fire damage. All right, let's go for it. He summoned Toxic Deads. Yep, you can read this guy like a book now. And honestly, I don't care. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna eat a lot of fire damage, but I plan to garrison once his reinforcements come out and hopefully we'll heal from the burn damage. Then this is gonna hurt. And he, okay, there we go, there we go. I need to get my Merrick out here to try and heal them. Cause I imagine we're gonna lose a lot. Oh boy, don't tell me. Yeah, screw the Merrick. It's not gonna help that much. Woo! Okay, we're good. We're actually just good. We're good. That could have been real bad. All right, let me just try to heal this off. Let's go, that's what I'm talking about. But my God, do you see? Oh my, okay, really? Can you stop? And they managed to kill it with his two pathetic ass pouncer deads. Yeah, of course it's the damn pouncers, not the three swords he had attacking it two stupid pouncers got it and of course he's gonna flex on me by controlling his freaking stone giant but i'm actually gonna let it come in here because it's gonna eat a lot of castle archer damage man this sucks I, like come on how can the ai control deads but we can't when is that gonna be an update for legacy let the player have control over their deads how much damage is he gonna do here? It's actually a lot. I'll wait a little bit longer. Jeez, that's a lot of damage, but it's fine. We're gonna wait until the earthquakes again. That's when we're gonna reattack. So he's gonna do the shield bash one more time. It's fine, we can tank it. Then he's gonna earthquake. And now we finish it off because we have a ton of swords to do it. Still managed to get a shield bash before it died, but it's fine. He's gonna lightning stone here, I bet. I'm calling it. I called it. I called it. Now we should escape this because we're gonna be in the garrison, right? Nope, it's hitting us in the garrison. I can still hear it. That's that's a little horse crap. And you know what? Screw it, we're gonna go back out. 
Though we have a lot of swords that need to heal, it's fine though because we do not want him re-establishing an economy and then we're just gonna have a rinse and repeat of this. So kill everything here. Though we can't fully attack because the blazing freaking statue. So we'll kill this last miner. And we're gonna garrison one more, I said garrison one more time so we can tank the uh, the blazing statue's fire damage. Cause I guarantee with the health that these swords need to heal up, they will definitely die if I just go for it right now. So we're just gonna play it safe, play it patient, let the swords heal up and then we will finish them off. But yeah, so far for this tournament run, it's literally just been sword mass. Just nothing but sword mass. And also, looking at the recording counter here, we're almost at 20 minutes. 20 minutes of playing against Vlad. That is crazy. But there's no faster way for me to end the game when I have to do a lightning storm on top of having a two minute time delay. That just gives him so much time to do whatever he wants. But we're fully healed now, so now we're gonna end it. As long as he does not lightning storm again here. I'm gonna be livid if he does. Cause like you already lost the game at this point. So as long as he doesn't do it, we can break the statue, tank the fire damage, and just win it. There we go. That's probably me being a little bit overprepared, but hey, you can never be too certain. And that takes us to hacker.exe. What is it gonna be? Deathmatch. A two minute time delay death match. All right, this is going to be really tough, I feel like. 